Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're having a look back at the final race of the uh, Zwift Racing League, which was on the new course in Scotland, the Rolling Highlands. Um, yeah, last race of the season. Um, <clears throat> there was a lot to fight for, a lot going on. Every team's trying to get one up and, and finish as high as possible in their division. So yeah, <clears throat> some fast and furious racing as always, um, but it just felt like there was a lot more on the line uh, this time round in this last race. Um, my team, Ethereal, we were in a great position going into the last race. We had one point separating us and the top team, Team NL. We'd been sort of battling with them throughout the season, um, constantly trying to get one up over them, but often they would beat us in the points races, but we would beat them in the team time trial. So there was sort of this ebb and flow between the two teams. So we went into this race just knowing that if things went our way, we had a possibility of getting the top spot in division, but we would have to really fight for it and they weren't going to make it easy for us. But likewise, we didn't want to make it easy for them to get that um, top spot in the division. So yeah, our plan was to race hard, try and get as many points as often as we could at the only point segment, which is the breakaway bry, which came at the end of the lead-in and at the end of every lap after that. So four times through that section. Um, and yeah, just see if we could get as many points as possible and put the team and uh, under some pressure. Um, yeah, my plan is pretty simple. Just try and get points every lap, just leave it all out and empty the tank for the team at the finish and just, uh, yeah, hope that that would be enough to push our team over the top into the, into the first place uh, position in the league. Um, <clears throat> I'd done a few recons of the course, so I knew that the breakaway bry, I knew sort of, what sort of effort it would take to get some points on that section and I knew it wasn't gonna be wasn't gonna be easy, but I also knew that it kind of suited my strengths, which is like a slightly longer sort of 30, 40 second um sprint. So I was optimistic about getting points there, but you just never know with these riff races. You're never sure what the rest of the field is thinking, what they're what they're gonna do or how they're gonna race it. So yeah, I was just ready to sort of race hard, be prepared and hopefully um, get some points for the team. So we're about to hit the first breakaway Brian. It, unfortunately, I did drop some frames when I was streaming this. So um, footage is a little bit choppy for this particular section, but um, hopefully we'll be able to get through it. Okay. But um, I had a feather power up going into this one. I hadn't really raced on this course with the feather power up that often. So I wasn't entirely sure how to what the best way to use it was. So I kind of knew that the steeper section was on this left hand corner. So I dropped it on this steep section and just launched my sprint. It was probably a bit earlier than I wanted to launch my sprint, but I think the sort of the adrenaline of the first effort, the eagerness of the, you know, the bunch is always quite eager on that first point section to go. And everyone goes quite early. So I followed suit and went pretty early, but I ended up hitting the front with a good sort of 250 meters still left. And a few riders end up kind <clears throat> coming past me, unfortunately. So probably wasn't the best timing from me on that first attempt. But I was pretty happy with fourth place and fourth fastest through the segment as well. And I could see from the fastest three points that there are quite a few of my teammates who also got points. So I think from a team point of view, that was a really good start to the um, good start to the race. Um, once through this breakaway bra and hitting the laps, uh, I was just basically from in between each point section, I was just trying to recover the legs and just sort of sit in and not use any more energy than I needed to use. You know, the the, the breakaway bra was the main challenge on this course. There was a bit of a kicker in the, in the castle section where it got over sort of 10%, but apart from that, the breakaway bar was the main section that was going to be where the group got thinned out. So I was really just trying to save the legs um, up until we hit that section again each lap. So I'm just going to fast forward it a little bit until that point because throughout this section I'm just sort of recovering and trying not to use any en more energy than I need to really. So we're just coming up to the second time or the end of lap one. And the second time into the breakaway bra, I've got a draft boost um, 
draft boost this time and uh, I want to sort of use that draft boost and draft through the pack um, and ultimately like capitalize on my on my power up but I think I go a little I come through the group much faster than I anticipated and I'm on the front with my draft boost which is not obviously doing me any actually doing me any favors um, so I'm on the front again with sort of 300 meters to go and I managed to put in a longer sprint than the first lap um but using that draft boost when i did and then coming through the pack as quickly as i did um probably wasn't again the best um strategy for that uh, that attempt i still get fourth fourth across the line so another um decent amount of points but yeah um i'm thinking in in the race i'm thinking next time if i get the draft boost i'm going to wait and be more patient um i had tried to be a little bit patient um following the first attempt but it seemed like i just still went a little bit too early and by the time i got through the group i was already on the front and i still had a decent amount of power up left to use when really you kind of want to maximize that that draft in the group with that power up and then only hit the front at the end um, whereas i was on the front with a good sort of couple of hundred meters to go but yeah still fourth place across the line so yeah, not, certainly not not the end of the world at all. And one of the most notable things in that one was that Team Anel, um, the team that were trying to knock off top spot, didn't actually place any riders in that particular um, sort of uh, in that particular sprint. So, and we had a good, a good couple of riders. My teammate Steve, he got first across the line. So, um, yeah, we bagged a decent number of points in that in that segment. So we're just coming up to the end of lap two. So um, throughout most of the lap, I've just been recovering and drafting. Not much has happened in uh, in the race. No one really attacked on this lap. I think everyone was just saving their legs for the the breakaway bra at the end of the lap. <clears throat> I do really enjoy racing on this course, although I do kind of wish there was maybe one more segment just to add something for people to go for during the lap. Um, maybe add another opportunity to attack as well. But Aside from that, it still was a lot of fun to race on, and it's always fun to race on a new course. Um, going into this second, uh, going into the end of lap two, but I had another draft power up. So this time I was really making sure to be patient and not get too worried about riders launching in front of me and, and then use, but then using them to um, capitalize on my power up. So I'm waiting till after this left hand corner to actually launch my sprint, and I drop the power up just as we come around it and some riders do sprint and launch ahead of me and i actually want that to happen so that my draft power up is is sort of maximize it maximizing the uh the benefit of that and i do have to sprint a bit harder than previous laps but as you can see as a result of using that draft power up and waiting for the riders in front to go i do end up actually passing most of them and i time the draft boost pretty well because it runs out just before i go through the finish back the KOM banner so that's kind of what you want with the with the draft power up is to time it so that you go through the group maximize your benefit from that power up and then it runs out just as you go through the banner but ideally you would be in first place whereas I was in I got rolled by um one of the guys from Peak who actually did really well this race so they they um absolutely smashed this race I think they got absolute um, bucket loads of points um, regularly uh, getting uh, top three in the um, fast first across the line um, but yeah that's how I was that's probably what I should have done in the previous lap when I had the draft power up but learning from my mistakes at least um, on on this lap so now we're on the final lap and basically all I'm thinking about is um, one more big effort one more time through that breakaway bri that's all i've got to do but also i'm thinking about you know is anyone going to try and launch an attack is anyone going to try and go long um and just being aware of who does try and go long um if it's the right team that goes then i'm not going to try and you know close that gap down but if it's the wrong team then i am going to put burn a match or two just to close that gap i'd rather stop them from scoring points and potentially lose a couple of points um, <laughs> rather than giving them the opportunity to score absolutely tons of points at the finish um, 
because they're still first across the nine points on this lap as well as finishing points. Um, so I know that having done a recon that the last place a team or someone can try and attack is about four, four and a half kilometers to go. And as I sort of expected on this last lap, someone from Team Anel does try and attack and they go they go at about four and a half kilometers to go. Um, where it sort of steepens up a little bit back towards the banner so they can use a power up and then get another power up at the top before descending back to the castle. Um, and they actually drag a few riders with them so it could get dangerous if they manage to pull a few riders away, sort of four or five riders in a group and they start working, then they, they have an opportunity of getting a decent gap. So I just put in a dig of about six and a half seven watts per kilo make sure that that gap doesn't get out to more than 15 seconds because if it gets out to more than 15 seconds it's gonna be difficult for um the chasing group to bring back uh, with only a few kilometers left to go and ideally i want it to be under um 10 seconds so the gap now is down to eight seconds at the moment um and that's exactly where I want it to be. So I just ease off. And I know that the momentum of the group now, because it's mostly downhill at this point, the momentum of the group um, plus the speed that we'll carry into that castle kicker will bring naturally bring that rider back um, without too much difficulty. So I let others kind of burn a match or two. They get maybe get a bit panicky and um, fire off the front as a rider here pushing five and a half, six sorts of kilo on the front. Um, uh, so let them, if they want to do that, that's fine. Just let them burn a match because they're not going to be able to get away from this chasing group, the size that it is, and the speed that we're carrying into this final um, castle kicker. So yeah, as you can see, we're carrying decent speed 60 kilometers an hour the rider out in front is not going to be doing that on this section and then we're dropping sort of eight watts per kilo on this kicker and he probably doesn't have the legs to do that so yeah we catch him with pretty 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 easily really um on that section um and now it's just a case of uh getting back into the group and waiting for that final sprint with 1.6 comms to go, you know, watching out for anyone that does try and launch a really long sprint. Um, I've got the aero power up this time round, so this is the first time I've got the aero power up, um, which I wasn't entirely sure how best to use it, but I knew that it probably best to wait until I was nearer the finish, so maybe last 200, 250 meters to use it, um, and maybe a bit. Maybe if I was on the front, that would be the best way to use it. Um, but my sort of eagerness, I think, got a little bit of the better of me again on this final lap, just wanting to uh, absolutely smash this uh, final KOM. I know I've got a decent long sprint, so I probably go a little bit earlier than I than I should in the hope that I'll just be able to get away and hold everyone off. But um, so, so I try and launch a little bit later but I see other people going so I go I'm going as hard as I possibly can at this point going full all gas or sort of 10 watts per kilo drop my aero boost probably a little bit too early and these two peak guys just absolutely swamp me they're absolutely flying like um those two um absolutely um smash that final sprint and peak got first team peak got first and second and I managed fourth place which uh, was yeah i'm pretty happy with that that result i'm a little bit disappointed i didn't manage to get a podium would have loved to have finished as with racing league with a with a podium not managed to get a podium um in this uh this season so i would have would have loved to have got um a podium in, in the zwift racing league but you know the reason why it's so difficult is because you often race against some of the top racers in each category so it's no surprise that um, it's so hard to get podiums in, in Zwift races. Um, but yeah, overall it was a great, great race though for, for me and, and the team, um, looking at the, uh, looking at the results for that race then. Um, so looking at the results then, uh, it was an absolutely top performance by the team. We managed to get the first place, 
um, in that race with our biggest points total in any points race so far this round, 244 points, um, cleaning up on the first across the line points, nearly double any other team uh, in that race and also getting the most amount of finishing points as well. So that was um, yeah, really, really strong performance uh, by the team. And most importantly, we actually managed to take um, first place in the league off the back of that result so not only did we win the race our first our first points race win of the season but also um, managed to win the division so managed to get back-to-back -back promotions now so we're going to be in hopefully going to be in the division b1 next season which is going to be another step up i think um so yeah um just want to say thank you to the team great great racing from them all season um great stuff from our competitors as well pushing us all the way you know didn't make us make it easy at any points was great fun racing against you guys and looking forward to racing against some of you guys again as well so yeah can't wait for that um i hope you enjoyed the video guys um if you have any thoughts or any comments about the race then please Leave it in the comment section below if there was anything interesting that happened in your race then yeah please let me know and i'll uh i look forward to seeing those um and if you haven't please uh like and subscribe to the channel thanks very much